the crown jewel of France's Marine Nationale, the majestic Richelieu in three minutes. The Richelieu-class battleships, comprising of Richelieu and her sister ship Jean Barre, were designed in the late 1930s as France's response to the naval rearmament of Germany and Italy. The lead ship, Richelieu, named in honor of the famous 17th-century French statesman Cardinal Richelieu, was laid down at the Brest Naval Shipyard in 1935 and launched in January 1939. Richelieu was a masterpiece of naval engineering, showcasing the zenith of contemporary battleship design. She was armed with a formidable main battery of eight 15-inch guns, all housed in two quadruple turrets located forward of the superstructure. This innovative arrangement allowed for a powerful forward salvo while maintaining a relatively shorter hull. Her secondary armaments, anti-aircraft guns and advanced armor scheme made her one of the most powerful battleships of her time. Commissioned into the French Navy in 1940, Richelieu faced a tumultuous beginning due to the outbreak of World War II and the subsequent fall of France. In June 1940, to avoid capture by advancing German forces, Richelieu hastily sailed from Brest to Dakar in French West Africa. Here, she became embroiled in the complex political situation following the armistice between Germany and the Vichy French government. In 1940, as part of the British Operation Catapult, aimed at neutralizing French ships to prevent them from falling into German hands, Richelieu was attacked by British aircraft while anchored in Dakar, causing significant damage. This marked the beginning of her turbulent wartime service, which saw her caught between the Vichy regime, the Free French Forces, and the Allies. After joining the Free French Navy in 1943, Richelieu underwent extensive refits in the United States. These upgrades modernized her weaponry, improved her armor protection, and significantly enhanced her anti-aircraft defenses, preparing her for active service with the Allies. Returning to action in 1944, Richelieu first served as part of the force guarding against the German battleship Tirpitz that threatened the convoy lanes to the Soviet Union. Soon after, however, she joined the British Eastern Fleet in the Indian Ocean, participating in several operations against Japanese forces. She played a crucial role in naval bombardments and as an escort for Allied aircraft carriers, demonstrating her firepower and resilience. As the war drew to a close, Richelieu returned to European waters, participating in the Allied victory celebrations. Post-war, she continued to serve as a symbol of French naval power, undergoing further modernizations and taking part in various peacetime exercises and operations. However, the advent of newer naval technologies and the shift in naval warfare strategy eventually led to Richelieu's decommissioning in the 1967. She was scrapped a year later.